Well, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going through how to do kind of that cut out text effect. This works really great on photos, so you can post it on like social media, you can print it out. I'm just using a few of my photographs from a trip I took a couple years ago. So I'm actually going to start off with the text first. I'm just going to create the box to go behind. If you want to make sure these align correctly to one another, align to first selected, and then align horizontally, and then align vertically. And going back to just the text, go up to layer, convert to curves. So select the text, right click, ungroup, and now select the background, go up to the top, and then subtract. So you could choose to have this any color that you want. Another nice way of doing it is to lower the opacity. Some people do it even quite a bit larger. So there you have it on one photo, going through the same process. So there you have a nice little reminder. And you can do other shapes other than like the square. You could do rounded or corners on this and it would look really great. Once again, you could do a larger size. So that works really well as something you can share on social media. And this to me looks really great on black and white photos. One trip with text if you want to have all of your letters and caps, go to character and you'll see a button that looks like two capital T's. If you click that, it will change everything to caps. So there was a the last photo. You could also do this exact same thing by having the photo behind and have the solid layer above the image itself and then do the type and that way the image will come through. I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys.